hello everyone thank you for tuning in to another video uh, if you've not heard if you've been living under a rock the patch 10.0.5 has finally arrived and with it came some new and exciting stuff that really shook up the meta um, i've released a dps tier list on my predictions for how i think specs will perform going forward the link will for uh, the link for that sorry will be down in the description uh, if you want to check that out um in this in this video i will be releasing an update to my previously released video on the healer specializations and what specs i think i expect to perform well and which ones which i think won't do so great um with that being said let's just jump right into this one so First up, we've got Resto Druid. Now, this spec did see some nerfs, uh, some reduction to burden C healing, uh, the adaptive swarm effectiveness to HOTS and its overall damage and healing, um, substantial nerfs to frenzied regen, which does uh, hurt the spec survivability um, a little bit, and budding leaves also does 20% less healing in PvP combat. Now, if you don't know what budding leaves does it is the, ta uh, the talent that helps life bloom do its thing for the r druid spec um so that taking a little bit of a hit does hurt a little bit for the spec so overall its healing throughput will be impacted with these changes um now they also receive some damage reductions uh in the forms of rip uh rake and ferocious bite and on top of that they don't have the best tier set um i believe their four set just uh, enables their crits to uh, reduce the CD on NS, and really not not that not that great. Um, but I will say this: the meta is shifting into a bit of a slower one, and our druids do love a slow and dampened meta. They are just so good at getting away, restealthing, drinking, coming back at a very substantial manner, or at least better than the opposing healer, and just helping the team um, stay offensive in those longer games. So that is always a big, big plus for Resto Druid. Um, but with all that being said, I think we had. Uh, rest of Druid in S tier before. I think with these changes, it's knocked down a little bit to the top of the A tier. It's still very, very, very good. But with these, with these, ner um, these changes, I think it's not definitely not as good as it was previously. Um, moving on to Preservation Evoker. Now, the biggest change with Preservation Evoker has to be that their Dream Projection is now dispellable. Now, if you don't know what Dream Projection does, it basically is an AoE um, dispel and a Omega Hot. Um, now, this 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 used to non uh, be non-dispellable. Sorry, now is dispellable, so it does make preservation a little bit weaker into those comps that have a spellable purge, uh, like shamans or shadow priests. Um, but they do have a great tier set that helps to offset this change, um, helping proc some instant cast living flames, living flames, sorry, um, which they can use uh, offensively or defensively depending on the situation. Um, they also uh, have some very annoying utility spells like nullifying shroud when used properly, and also um, with the change to Emerald Communion not being stopped by disorients that just makes the spell even more powerful now now there's no counterplay to everyone coming at all once they press the button it's just like okay their team is fine they're fine there's not much you can do about that unfortunately um overall evoker is still an amazing amazing healer probably the best one that you can get out there just great great healing throughput um no matter what bracket it's in um defensively i think that's where it, it's a little bit um vulnerable as um you know, you have to pre either pre-use things or rely on your trinket slash emerald communion to kind of get you out of those tricky situations, or maybe even having um yourself pre-hotted because your hots do um do quite a lot of healing. So I think that's where they may lack lack just a little bit, but I think they are still the best healer by far. Um, so I'm gonna put them up in the S tier. Now moving on to Miss Weaver, uh, what do you think? when you when you hear miss weaver fist weaving now with fist weaving miss weaver does some amazing amazing damage throughput 
they are capable of of really just matching matching um or just topping topping meters in terms in terms of healers they can do some very very great damage and on top of being offensively gifted uh they've received some mana regen buffs as well as a buff to enveloping mist and a reverse to the almost nerfed pvp talent chrysalis so now their cocoon stays on a 45 second reduced cooldown from that pvp talent so that's always good news for uh um if you're a receiver monk um because i think the area where misweaver kind of struggles is that recovery so if you've been in cc for a little bit of time um you don't have many buttons that can really just cut that can really just palm top someone just like that you have life cocoon and you have revival those are the only two buttons that you really have to respond to to such um either burst or being in an extended uh, an extended cc chain um i believe you you have a talent now called shailun's gift apology apology sorry if i pronounce that poorly um which is also a really big heal but unfortunately it does have a two second cast time reduced by haste of course um but that cast time unfortunately is making it a little bit hard um for that to maybe maybe see play um it is a big heal so i i do expect some misweavers to pick it up uh but i would say overall misweaver it it can it can do well it can do well um but i don't think that it can compete with these other healers on top so i'm gonna put it in the b tier for now um moving on we have holy paladin now this spec caught a lot of people by surprise at the start of the season um i i heard whispers of a lot of people saying the spec is not going to be great it's not going to be viable um just rerolls or something else but it really has been performing outside of a lot of people's expectations um mainly due to melee wings and how great it just helps sustain your entire team while keep while helping you stay offensive as well so you know you're tossing out judgment you're talking about tossing out crusader strikes and at the same start at the same time sorry you're helping you know aoe heal your team and keep them offensive while you're also being offensive and helping with damage which is also quite nice um uh unfortunately though they did they did see some nerfs to that i'll get to that in a second um they did receive some healing buffs to uh holy shock holy light flash of light and a 10 percent uh, damage reduction to their um, divine protection which is which which was at 20 percent so it's now 30 percent damage reduction um on a minute cooldown that can be used while stunned so that's always a good a good thing for holy pally if you do play the class um the spec sorry um now just back to the melee wings nerf now the duration of the melee wings did get nerfed um judgment damage did get nerfed as well and you did you did also get a nerf to aura of reckoning which is the passive stacking buff that holy paladins get when um, a member of their team affected by their aura is critically struck um, and once they get to um, well the old stack was 50 now it's 100 so pretty much doubled uh, when they, once they get to that stack of 100 they will proc wings for six seconds now that nerf does hurt a little bit as you won't be procking those wings to help you recover and sustain your team as much um but i would say the uh the buffs to flash of light holy shock and um and holy light may offset that a little bit i don't think it'll do a great deal i think the nerf will be a little bit stronger than the buff and therefore i think holy paladin will be in a bit of a maybe l low or mid a tier um i think it depends on the on the uh the bracket too um i think in solo shuffle this this spec is a very good it it does help um their team stay offensive it has a lot of utility with bops with freedoms with hand of sacrifices uh you have hodge you have blinding light you have a lot of of, of stuff to help your team secure kills and obviously if you if you if you play well um you can obviously help them secure kills yourself by also helping with damage uh, as well as keeping your team offensive in the process so i think a mid low a tier is pretty fair for this spec um moving on to this priest now this priest is another spec that's kind of dependent dependent on the bracket that you're playing um i would say in 
2v2, it will be an easy S tier, uh, but in other brackets, not so much. Now, the thing with the thing with this, it has some great, great damage. You've probably seen it yourself um, in the arena, well, um, after the arena, in the details. Uh, you've probably seen Disc up there, probably maybe even close to you or beating you in damage at, at, at times with their um, Dark Reprimand, Mind Game, Shadow of Death combos, just taking out people left and right. Um, it, it, it's been a spec that's been very fun to watch as it's not been viable for a little bit now um in shadowlands it wasn't it wasn't the best um in the start of the expansion uh dragon fight it wasn't the best either but now with some recent changes it is seeing some viability um it did receive some healing buffs to radiance flash heal and renew um which does help with its sustain and helping pick people back up um when they were a little bit low and as a kicker as well they did receive two charges of pain suppression with the new talent um what's it called a pr uh, pr protector of protector of the frail i think it's called protector of the frail they do have two charges of ps now um so just being very well rounded they can they can do a lot of damage they can um do some decent healing and they have some very very powerful and potent cooldowns to rotate through i would say this priest is an easy overall a tier a tier class i would put it uh maybe somewhere in the middle here i don't think i think it might be better than holy paladin now um it does more damage maybe not as much burst healing but um i would say that it definitely can compete i think it, i think it is slightly better than holy paladin honestly um but yeah i think middle of the a tier is around the fair position for this spec um moving on to the next one we've got holy priest now this spec didn't see um any changes i think in this in these recent uh patches um but i will say as the as the better shifts towards a slower one um i feel that holy priest will fail to keep up um just due to, due to the uh sorry uh, it'll fail to keep up due to the lack of healing throughput um it does have moments and periods of very high burst healing which um is it's quite known for and it helps the team quite a lot but outside that we could see it struggle a bit um it does have a, a very great two set enabling some um quick cast on heal after you cast renew uh with light weaver i'm not sure if people play both light weaver and two set they may they may um, move away from light weaver if they have the two set but then some people may try and combine them both for even faster um cast of that heal and other heals too um but they do have um angel form uh, as well to avoid cc and interrupts in times where the team is taking a bit of damage or just in response to cooldowns um from an uh, opposing team um overall holy priest a very you know decent healer not 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 the best not the greatest um but i feel like it does need some something to kind of compete with 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 the other healers that we have listed here so far uh therefore i'm going to put this down in b with miss weaver i think it's better than miss weaver so we'll, we'll put it just ahead um now last but not least we have resto shamans now with resto shaman in recent changes we saw some nerfs to its instant healing um some and some buffs sorry to its casted healing which could be problematic due to how fast the meta the meta is currently um and it really just restricts them in a sense like who has time to cast right now a lot of specs are not really are not really casting um very much and still putting out a lot of healing throughput like rest of druid and this spec um just just due to how um, prone it is to being trained by melee cleaves and the fact that it, it, it's encouraged to cast a bit more now could could spell a bit of of trouble for the spec moving forward um i could be wrong though the meta um i think the, the the developers are trying to move the game into a direction where the meta is a little bit slower and that may reward rest shaman a little bit a little bit more but we'll have to wait and see um I think also that uh, they did see some they yeah they, they did see some some damage buffs too um, 
as well as a nerf to Stormkeeper by, I think, 33%. Um, so I, I, I guess the, da the damage buffs, sorry, were to help offset the Stormkeeper nerfs, just to maybe help them kind of do damage outside of Stormkeeper. But I would say that the damage during Stormkeeper is still a little bit high. Um, I see, I'm still, I'm still being crit for way too much from a, a, a Rest of Shaman. And really and truly, I don't think any healer should be really putting out that much damage with one singular spell. Um, I mean, this priest do the same thing, honestly. I, I, I also think that this priest's damage is a bit overtuned, um, and they may they may be seeing something coming in the in the future where they do get toned down a little bit. Um, but we'll have to wait and see in terms of that. But overall, I'll say Shaman has some very respectable cooldowns um, to go through. Uh, Earthen Wall. Um, the defenses of of wall. Um, they have grounding, tremor, um, a lot of a lot of stuff utility for their own team as well. Um, so I think, in respect of in, in the aspect of them being a healer themselves, I think they are in a decent, in a very in a, in a good spot. I would say better than holy priest and misweaver. I would say so. Therefore, I'm gonna put this one in a. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a low A. I would say it's it's an A. Um, hmm, maybe something like this. Maybe something like this. I would say, just it's in terms of like general, general, general um healing healing output, uh, general gameplay defensively. Uh, I would say Rest Shaman is in a in a decent spot. Um. But no, I would I would put it like this. I would, I would put I would put it like this. I think I think this is a, a a fair one. Uh, I think this is a fair place to put Arshon. It's still pretty good. Probably not as utility um as uh good utility wise in terms of Holy Pally and this priest. But I would say it's still pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I would say this 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 will be my expectations and predictions for healers um after this patch. Well, obviously it's already it's already um, implemented, but let me know if you guys agree, what you would disagree with, what maybe uh, you know not as good, maybe lower, and which ones I think are, are being underestimated and which can be higher. Um, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.